Hey, I'm Bianca Bruce. I'm a business and branding strategist. And this month, in the month of November, we all are looking at gratitude. And so I thought, you know, I'm going to give you my perspective because I think it's really important to know that gratitude is not something that you feel when everything is going well or going your way. We've had a year of things not going our way and things maybe not going all too well. But also we've had a year where certain people, perhaps even in our communities, in our direct sphere of contact and influence, have had a great year, have flourished, have grown professionally and personally. And so with that sort of dichotomy, you get stuck in thinking, well, why am I in this place? I think that gratitude actually grows, if you think of it, in the messy spaces. One of my very favorite flowers is not really a flower at all, it's a dandelion. And you have seen dandelions bloom in the middle of a cement path, somehow finding a way through. And I think that is a good example of visual of what gratitude can look like. That it doesn't grow in the wonder and the meadow of everything awesome. Sure, you can experience gratitude there, but where it grows you most, where it forms your character the most, is in the difficulties. When things don't turn out just exactly the way that you had anticipated. So I was looking at the definition of gratitude and it says it's the quality of being thankful the quality of being thankful. What comes up for you when you think of the word quality? I think that there is substance. There's something tactile about quality. There's something experienced about quality. The quality of being thankful means that when we practice gratitude, we actually become very specific about the thing that we're grateful about. So think about it. What are the things you can be specifically grateful about? Uh, what does that feel like? What does it sound like? Where in your body do you feel it? I think of gratitude this year as the space where we got to have another chance. And there's been a lot of days where things got really hard, things got really narrow, things got really pinched, um, thin, almost, if you know what I mean, hard and challenging and really almost out of resources. Whatever resources you can think of, money, time, energy, patience, opportunity, all of those are resources. And so when things get thin and hard and challenging, being able to go again, that's what I'm grateful for. I can feel it in my bones. It's something that I am shaped by that I don't ever want to take for granted. I get to go again. And uh, this year, I'm specifically and most especially grateful for the ability to go again. I would love to hear what you're grateful for. Where in your life have you experienced challenge, hard, thin places, lack of resources? And can you, by chance, find something that you're grateful for. This is not a competition. This is not a space for you to feel shame or guilt. This is an opportunity for you to allow yourself to think outside of the box that our circumstances tend to create for us and to see what else is possible. I am so glad that I got to chat with you. I'd love to hear your thoughts and ideas, your comments, comment below. I can't wait to hear from you.